been watching what's going on in Wayne County, Michigan, uh, as far as it encapsulates uh, Detroit. I find it really troubling myself. All right, um, why is why do I find it troubling? Well, first of all, I've seen black people from Detroit who said that uh, we're disrespecting them by questioning the vote count. Granted, Detroit's probably 90% we did Democratic Party. Problem is, Florida, Ohio, all these other places that have a lot of minorities, we've gained 30% of the vote. So your 90% Detroit's probably really only like maybe 70% Detroit. But the real issue comes down to being, there were 174,000 votes brought in at 4.30 in the morning. Out of those 174,000 votes that were brought in, they were brought into districts that have zero, zero people that are registered to vote and they came in as absentee ballots. One lady from that area who is 20 years of being a poll worker said in all of her time of, in 20 years of being a poll worker, never once before has she ever seen what's called a pristine ballot. What is a pristine ballot? Well, a pristine ballot would be like me reaching over to a printer Pulling out a brand new sheet of paper that's never been printed on, hasn't been folded, hasn't been anything, it's just brand new. And it has a perfect circle for Joe Biden's vote. And there's no votes down ballot. In order for a ballot to be brought in as an absentee ballot, that means it needs to be folded and put into an envelope. So these votes haven't been folded. Every one of them, the circle for filling it in for who you're voting for, were perfectly filled in, which basically says that they were probably printed with that circle filled in for Biden. And because they weren't folded, they probably came fresh off the printer and went right straight to the count. Now mind you, this happened after and this is in Detroit. Now mind you, this is not only Detroit. They put cardboard over the windows. They said all, vote, all votes have been counted. Everybody goes home. The Republican overseers are gone. But they didn't leave. They stayed. And they counted these votes. But not only did it tally the votes once, or twice even, not even three times, Many cases, not even just four times. They ran it through the machines over and over again. I know we'll add to that as being, there's also other testimony to a lady who was trained to backdate the votes so that they showed that they were brought in before the closing of the vote. And they weren't, they were backdated. So that's a bad thing too. I know that's that's just Detroit City. Around Detroit City are all these other districts, and in those other districts, those districts are Trump supporters. They're red, white, and blue people. They they work for a living. They've got Trump signs in their yards. Now to put this in a real perspective, in Detroit, we'll take a district that says they have a thousand registered voters. 12% of those voters actually went and cast a vote out of the whole district. But in the areas that surround that district, they had an 85% turnout of people in person casting votes. The only way that Wayne County could have lost to Joe Biden is by putting in false votes because I, I, I'm not trying to disrespect that man that was from Detroit saying, oh, you know, we're not giving them credit for where credit's due. We voted and all this stuff. 
you're uh, 12 percent of a thousand votes versus 85 percent of 3,000 votes that are off for Trump and there's no way that you got 175,000 votes brought in or 173,000 whatever the number was brought in and they were all cast just for Joe Biden with less than three percent of them for for Trump. Now to put this into perspective Biden won Wisconsin or Michigan rather by 145,000 votes. So you got 173,000 that were brought in in pristine condition and you only won by 145. We said Trump won that state and Trump did win that state fair and square. Again now we're going to put this into perspective of 173,000 votes for only 3% of those votes were cast for Donald Trump. That would be the same as saying I flipped a quarter into the air, caught it, put it on my wrist, heads, 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 173,000 times. Improbable? Absolutely. It's impossible. The only way you're going to do that is if you have a two-headed coin. Apparently that's what the Democrats are playing with, two headed coins. You got one in your pocket, I don't have one in mine. What I have is faith in our electoral system. And that faith says if we don't get to the bottom of all these irregularities and, and do what needs to be done, we've got some major problems. Now one of the major things that did happen in that case was that the two Republicans that were on the uh, Electoral Commission, I think they're called, they originally gave in and said, okay, yeah, we're going to certify the vote. They were getting harassed like crazy. They got doxxed. I, I spoke about that in my last video. The funny part is, they grew a backbone overnight and they rescinded those votes. They no longer are sitting back. They actually sat up and said, this is the end of the bullshit. We're going to fight this thing right to the end, and we don't care which, who wins. It has to be done legally. And that's kind of where I'm at on this one. I mean, I want to see Trump win naturally. I'm, I'm a conservative. But it's not really about win or lose. It's about doing it right, keeping it fair, and doing it legally. I mean, if we lose... If we lose the whole population's ability to say our vote counts, and I've said it for years, you know, Matt, why vote? Your vote don't count, it's the electoral count. Well, yeah, it is the electoral college count, but um, your vote is what tells them how to vote. So if you were doing it legally and you're doing it fairly and honestly, they will be able to vote with a clear heart, clear head, based on the populist vote, I guess you would call it. I don't really agree with populist vote theory because New York City would kill the rest of our state, which they do anyway. But um, yeah, I mean, that's just terrible. But let's let's hope that we get this right. Sidney Powell's invested in it now. I got her book, License to Lie. It's an awesome book. She's a very smart lady. We got Rudy Giuliani, the man that was responsible for taking down the mob in New York City. A very smart man. And we got a couple other lawyers invested in it as well. So let's see what happens on this one. But I think Donald Trump really did win by a landslide. And we're not talking 100,000 votes. I think we're talking millions. That's my rant for tonight. Y'all have a good night. Thank you.